everyone. Don't mind the people in the background. You're watching the artist at work. We are getting ready to film our video tomorrow. So looking forward to that and I hope you do too. So today I wanna to talk about burnout. Burnout is the reduction of a fuel or a substance to nothing through repetitive use. And that's exactly what we do to our bodies and to ourselves. We keep going and pushing ourselves and keep going until we have nothing left to give. So today I'd like to talk a little bit about that, about some of the signs of burnout and some of the solutions that you can have because trust me, I've been there. I've burned out before. After so many years of being in this profession, there are times where I have burned out myself. So one of the things that I can tell you is to really listen to your body. Your body sends you signals when you're starting to burn out. Burnout doesn't happen from one day to the next. It's progressive. It's an accumulative effect. So if you've been, you know, grouchy or if you're not sleeping right, if you have insomnia, if you're not eating right, if you don't have any energy and you just feel like you're dragging every morning to get up and you dread going to work. And um, I know one for me was very important is like when I thought of a client, it's like I have to go in today because I need to make that money. That's when I knew I was burning out because I never want to see a client as just somebody that pays me and that's all I want as an exchange from them. So that would tell me that, oh, I'm really running low on energy. I'm really not enjoying my job anymore. So that's when I look at myself and say, okay, something's got to give here. I need to make adjustments and I need to have more balance in my life. So if you've got any of these signs that you have insomnia or exhaustion or moodiness, or if you have a bottle of wine hiding in your cabinet, you know it's time to reevaluate yourself and reevaluate what you're doing. So some of the solutions that I'm gonna talk you through, you know, consider some of them. You don't have to do all of them, but I would combine two or three. So the main one for me is exercise. You know, exercise is really good for your endorphins. It really helps you relax. I like to personally walk outside. I love to breathe in that fresh air and that really helps me to relax and to sleep way better. So right there, you're getting two in one because you'll be able to sleep better just by exercising. And any kind of exercise that you like, please tailor everything to you, to what you like. It could be yoga, it could be Tai Chi, it could be going to the gym, whatever it is that you enjoy, you must enjoy the exercise. Don't think of it as, oh, one more thing to do that I can't stand. Another thing that you can do for yourself is, you know, something simple is like, take a bath. I know there's some things that you say, oh, I can't do that because I don't have the time. Exercise takes a long time. Well, you know what? Take a bath. Enjoy, have time for you. Another one is take a day off. I know that most of you will say, no, I can't even do that because I can't afford that or I have to work. But if you can take one or two days off, I guarantee you, you're going to feel way better after that. Uh, something else that I've done in the past is set boundaries with people and boundaries with uh, the people that I led into my life. You know, I don't want somebody that's going to drain my energy uh, physically, mentally, spiritually. And as it is, what we do is already very draining because we are there for our clients and we must stay within our scope of practice. I can't emphasize that enough. Remember that our job is just to listen. We don't have solutions for their problems. We don't try to fix their problems. We just listen. But we're like the hairdressers. We hear everything more than even we want to hear. Sometimes we do. We listen to them. And on top of being, you know, physically demanding, it's emotionally demanding and sometimes spiritually demanding. I'll tell you some of the uh, clients that have gotten to be a, a little difficult for me. And those are the clients that I've had in the past five years that have had cancer. I had one, an 18 year old that had cancer and I saw him go through chemo. He was uh, going, coming here, I'm sorry, every two weeks. And it was the only thing that alleviated his pain. So I saw him go through all that. And thank God he's alive and thriving, even has a girlfriend now. But watching him go through that was difficult. I've had other people that have gone through cancer and chemo, radiation, other clients, and it's, it, it is draining. So you really have to be in a good place. You really have to take care of yourself. You owe it to yourself and to your clients to stay healthy mentally, physically, spiritually. Another one is watch 
how many clients you do a day. Some people can do eight massages, which I don't know about that. I was never one of those that could do eight massages a day. Six was my limit. And now I've had to cut back some because I'm so active with teaching and other things going on in my life that my six might be somebody else's four or my six might be somebody else's eight. Tailor it to what you can do. Set boundaries, what's right for you. Don't compare yourself to other massage therapists. Some people, you know, may be able to do more, but maybe you've got so much going on at home. Maybe you're a single mom. Maybe you've got, you know, parents that you need to take care of. So please don't compare yourself to anybody else and do what's right for you. Another thing that I've always done is changed my room around. You know, I was at one office for 18 years. Imagine being in the same room for 18 years, people. That's a long time. And it would drive me nuts if it stayed the same for 18 years. That's not me. So what I did is I would switch it around. I would, you know, sometimes I paint the room a different color or one wall or put a fountain. I remember one time I had um, Zen style, you know, like Oriental furniture and Oriental paintings. Another time it was Native American. Another time it was a fountain and plants. So switch it around, you know, make it you. Uh, figure out what works for you and how it's your space. It can be your sanctuary. Your going to work should be about relaxation, about recharging yourself and others. Remember that we're not the miracle. The miracle is the body itself. We're assisting the client to heal. We're assisting their body to heal. We're not doing anything great. It's the body that's doing the miracle. So please let, keep your ego in check. You know, all of us have to do that once in a while. I know we all love what we do and that's why we're in this profession because we like to help people. We like to, you know, to really help somebody feel better, better leaving than when they came in. So take care of yourself. Another one is get a massage. I am so amazed after all these years of how many massage therapists do not get a massage. I really don't understand that. You know, I've always gotten a massage throughout the past 30 years. And I didn't, I, I can honestly tell you, maybe I've paid for a handful. I always traded. I always found somebody to trade with, whether it was once a week, every two weeks, even when I traveled. I can tell you I met massage therapists in um, Denver, Dallas, Austin, San Diego, everywhere I would go is I would look up the 10 best massage therapists and call them up, call them up. Say, I'm here from out of town. I would love to trade a massage with you. This is what I can offer. This is the type of massage that you, you know, that I do. And most of them were really eager. I can tell you I traded in every one of those places within everybody in one of those cities. Some people might tell you, no, they're too busy, they're not interested. But if you go down the line, I'm sure you can find someone to trade with. Please, if you're a massage therapist, we all need to be reminded how good it feels and what our clients experience. It's very important that you also take care of yourself and trade and get a massage. You're important. What you do is important. Till the next time, create a good day.